Hello everybody! Yet again, another training in our online Vitality program. We've been training the core for a couple weeks now and again today we're going to intensify this a little bit. What I want you to look for before we start this training is some kind of weight. Uh, a sports bag with some kind of weight in it because we're going to do some deadlifts and these are more efficient if you have some kind of weight. Lower back muscle is a strong muscle so you can stuff it with some good weight. We're going to go to the whiteboard. I'll show you exactly all the exercises we're going to do. After that, we're going to get it started. Let's go. Okay, we're going to start off with a small warm-up. Just repeat after me. We're going to do 10 squats. 5 push-ups, 5 lunges on each side, and 10 mountain climbers on each side. We're going to start with the squats. The only goal for the squats, or for any exercise in the warm-up, is to get the body warmed up. So I don't really matter if you do 5, 10, 15 repetitions. Go for the push-ups. Just the most important thing for the warm for the warm up is to move slowly and controlled. So no sudden or explosive movements. Before we do that, we need to warm up. Moving a lot from the upper body now. If you want to enhance a little bit from the upper body, you can tap to your first foot. Totally lost count now, but that's fine because it's a warm up. Doesn't matter that much how many reps we do. Mountain climber. Okay, we're going to repeat this little set another two times.
Okay, this will be the first set of our core training. By now, you should find, should have found a sports bag and fill it up with some weight, some weight that you think you can still manage these exercises. This is going to be the first exercise. Pick up your sports bag, put it on chest height, go down in a squat and simultaneously extend the arms to the front and back up. So what I want you to do is go in a squat, extend the arms to the front, hold it for a sec and come back up. Okay, second set. Doesn't look like much, second exercise I have to say. It doesn't look like much, but it is still a good core exercise. We've done this on hands and knees a couple times. Now I want you to do this standing up, but contract your core extra. So what is the goal? Arm go to the front, stand all the way tall, contract your abs, move one arm up and the opposite leg goes back while you keep contracting your core. Usually when you move backwards, it's pretty hard to maintain tension in your core. That will be the exercise today. So move back, extend, uh, contract your core and pull in in the end. Extend, contraction is there, pull in. Extend, contract, contract, pull in. Yes? Third exercise of our first set. Go on the ground. This will be a exercise for the sides. Go in a push-up position over the bag. I want you to pull the bag to one side with the opposite hand and yank the bag. Make it a quick explosive movement. Rotate down, boom, and rotate away. Not a slow pull. You're gonna train your shoulders pretty good, but we wanna focus on the abdomen, the obliques. So when you make the movement, rotate to the back and boom. A quick jerk to the side. Okay, the last exercise from the first set. It's gonna be the V up, but then alternate. We've done the V up a couple times. What I want you to do now is bring one foot to the opposite hand and back down. The other side and back down. So instead of bringing them up both at the same time, we're gonna do them one by one. This is our first set. Let's get it going. Tell me when you want to be in time. There's a million different places and a million different heights. I'll climb the tallest of the mountains, the highest place I find. So that I can look over at before me what is mine. Can you say that I disappeared? Can you say that I wasn't there for you? When you went into hiding on the front steps of your porch, then I reflected on the memories, but I put out that torch. Hey!
like a phoenix Born from the ashes I take care of my own Torn down where I sassin You can't suffocate my spirit Cause I'm the king of my own
exercise together with the squat to train your core and this is something that we've been doing in the past few weeks so we're gonna keep on doing this but maybe for you now it is good to increase the weight slightly I'll show you a small example what I want you to do this time keep the weight in front of your knees bend your knees slightly keep your shoulders back slowly go to the front and back up Slowly to the front, back up. I'm gonna go to the front until I feel some stretch in my hamstring and I can't go much further unless I make my lower back into a slouch. We don't wanna do this. Keep your lower back straight. 
And from here, we're gonna move. Nice quality movements. Okay, the next one will be the dead bug again. We've done this last week too. I want you to go on your back. Keep the back in front of you. What we wanna do is lift up the feet, extend one leg to the ground, and slowly lower the weight to the ground. Pull the weight back up, pull the knee back in, and take the other side. Back up, and back up. Most important thing is to keep your low back in the ground. If you notice that your lower back lifts off the ground, as soon as your arms go back, leave out the weight. If you think you can do it with the weight, use the weight. But the most important thing is that low back. Next exercise, we don't need the back for this. I want you to put your feet in the ground, lay on your back, shoulder, shoulders come off the ground slightly, and your hands are gonna one by one tap your feet. Leave your hips steady on the ground, your upper body is moving. You wanna feel contraction in the side of your abdomen. Last exercise of this set, we're gonna need our sport bag again. Go on your back, knees are 90 degrees uh, bent, the sport bag goes on the feet and try and keep it there. Now the arms go backwards, now we come up from the shoulders, tap the feet and back to the ground. Up, tap, back. And repeat. Okay, this is our second set, let's go.